Does nobody serve breakfast round here? No sign of staff, I see, this morning. Make of that what you will. You haven't heard, then. Oh. And five is twenty. <laughs> Been locked up. Oh. Charged with attempted murder. Oh, no. When did that happen? Last night. One of my delivery men is well in with the CID. Oh, say. Yeah, I know. Poor Alan. Well, at least he's still alive. Only just. What I don't understand is why nobody noticed what was going on. I mean, he only lives across the way. Yeah, well, we all thought he had Alzheimer's. Well, having said that, I did have my suspicions. No, you oh. didn't. I might not have said anything at the time, Emily, but I did. You can't just go around accusing people. Never stop you in the past. I can only hold you for 24 hours. Another 12 if we're unlucky. So my advice is to say as little as possible. Keep your answers brief. Just answer yes or no. But I've got nothing to hide. And whatever you do, don't be led. Say too much and they'll run rings round you. You are aware I'm innocent. In that case, you've got nothing to prove. You're not on trial, Stephanie. Not yet, anyway. Ever done this sort of thing before? Um, I've not organised a wedding, no. Well, apart from my own, of course. And uh, now you're separated. Yeah. And living with his brother. Yeah. Must have been awkward. <laughs> well, it was pretty traumatic. So? Was he worth it? Yeah. Hmm. Must be pretty amazing. Either that or he's good in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. Mm. Well, I'm a pretty tough taskmaster. Are you sure you're up to the job? Of course I am. Good. You've not seen my wallet, have you? Uh, oh. Top of the microwave. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're in the middle of a meeting. Uh, right. Sorry to interrupt. Um, you wouldn't mind closing the door on the way out, would you? My pleasure. Of course I've got your solicitor's letter. Why do you think I'm ringing you? I'm not being awkward. Oh, get lost. All I want is to see me kids. Uh, you do know this is supposed to be an office. Meaning? Meaning? I can't hear myself think. Well, I'll get out of your way then, shall I? There you are. What's wrong with him? What do you think? Clean. You know, I used to be a great believer in marriage. Not anymore. Yeah, well, if I had my time over again, I'd think twice. My dad must be mad. What I wouldn't give to be full loose and fancy free at this very moment. Really? Why is that then? The brochure's just a guide, really. You can have anything you like. Oh, that one's very popular. No, I've made my mind up. I want lilies. Mm, so, that's the bouquet. Now, how about the table decorations? Oh, easy. I want everything in red. Mm. I don't care what flowers they are. Mm. And how much do you want to spend? Sky's the limit. Perfect. As long as I get a discount. Not that I'm being a cheapskate, but, you know, everyone loves a bargain, don't they? Mm. Even if they are getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, seeing as it is rather a large order, I, I could give you a 10% discount. Mm. Well, how about 15? Knock off a VAT, we'll call it cash. That's all right, isn't it, love? Sure. Great. Ah, and here's my wedding planner, Sadie. Oh. Sadie, meet Eve, my florist. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Right. Well, looks like I've already chosen the flowers, but if you wouldn't mind doing the paperwork, that'd be great. 15% off, no VAT. I'm very impressed. Mm. <laughs> hey, no stranger to all this, are you, Steph? I don't get you. Been questioned by the police. According to our records, in March 2002, you were tried, found guilty and convicted of fraud. I take it you didn't know? My client failed to disclose that fact. I bet she did. I forgot. It was a long time ago. Hey, do you want to tell your brief how long you got? Or shall I tell him? Six months in Holloway. Six months, one week and three days, to be precise. Well, let's not split hairs, eh? Anyway, moving on. About your father's checkbook, Steph. I didn't forge his signature, if that's what you're implying. My dad signed every single one of those checks himself. 
Life doesn't stop just because you're poorly, you know. Bills have to be paid. Someone had to do it. You seem a bit uptight, Steph. You try sleeping in a prison cell. It ain't the Hilton, you know. So you like nice things? Well, doesn't everybody? When you can afford them, yeah. Having money means a lot to you, doesn't it, Steph? What are you insinuating? Nothing. You seem very eager to sell up. He's talking about the B&B, &B, Stephanie. My client doesn't want to comment on that. In fact, if our inquiries are correct, which I assume they are... And the estate agent and the King family aren't lying. You were prepared to sell for considerably less than the true valuation. Fifty grand, to be precise. A lot of money. I wanted a quick sale. What was that? You don't have to answer that. Because I was skinned, why do you think? So you were desperate? My client never said that. Yeah. Yeah, I was desperate. The factory was going belly up. The B&B &B was closed, Neffel coming in. <laughs> yeah, you could say I was desperate. Desperate enough to kill your own father? No! Hey, what are you doing here? I think I might have dropped my mobile in your car. I'm not saying it. Yeah, well, I was sitting in the back one. Yeah, of course you were. No, no, no. It'd, it'd be best if I got it. Well, go on, then. Found it? No, not yet. Got it. Now, there are only two ends, thank God. That's nut intolerant. Excuse me. Can I have a word? Sure. Far away. In private. Oh. Excuse us. What's she doing here? She's my assistant. <laughs> You're joking, assistant what? Flunky? No, wedding planner, actually. Right. And who's paying? Because I'm not. Don't worry, it's all taken care of. And um, we've had to cancel the flowers. I beg your pardon. Jeez, it's growing out there. Tom, I was just telling Charity that we've cancelled the flowers. They were very expensive, even with the discount. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, love, but Sadie managed to get even a better deal. Oh, well. <laughs> Good old Sadie. And I was just about to explain Katie. You see, Tom and I have discussed her, and, um... Yeah, we thought we'd train her up. Sadie thought, well, I thought she could be an asset to the firm. So Tom's paying. I've told her to stop worrying, but she will keep interfering. Maybe that's because it's my wedding. <laughs> exactly. So enjoy. I tell you what, love. Why don't we slip away somewhere quiet, spend some time together? Leave these two to get on with it, eh? Come on. I'm this to the boss when he comes out, will you? Hello again. What are you doing here? I've got something for you. Oh, yeah? It's proof she's really trying to kill him. In that case, you better hand it over. All oh, right, so I might have bunged him one or two too many, but I wasn't trying to poison him. So where are the pills? Oh, how many more times? On the bedside table. Well, they were the last time I saw them. My officers found nothing. Yeah, well, perhaps one of them pocketed them. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? According to the hospital, you had at least three months' supply. Maybe more. So where are they? Could I have a word, boss? PC Hart has entered the room. Not now. It's important. D.I. Kiesel and PC Hart are leaving the room. What? Remember the kid, Darren Upwood? He just brought these in. According to him, he took them from the B&B. &B. Apparently, he thought they were evidence. Where did he find these? I've not had time to question him. Get him down to toxicology now. I want a full report. D.I. Kiesel has re-entered the room. Looks like this is your lucky day. You could have fooled me. I take it my client is free to leave, Inspector. For now, yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Indeed. Thinking about it, I don't need God on my side, Inspector. I'm innocent, remember? Come on, let's get out. Excuse me. Sulk. 
come on, love. Now, what would you like, eh? A chocolate bar? Bag of crisps? Dunno. <laughs> oh, go on, you can have anything you want, love. As long as it's under 50p. Put your money away, Betty. This is on me. It's not often we get a hero in the oh. shop, is it? <laughs> when you're not thieving, that is. Oh. So, what happened, love? Cos we want to know everything. <clears throat> now, what did they say when you gave them the bills? I just had to make a statement. Oh, what did you tell them? I told them how I got in there, how I got the pills, how they were evidence she was going to kill him, and now if it wasn't for me, she probably would have. And they wrote it all down. <laughs> oh. Hey, I reckon you've sewn up that case for them. You deserve a medal, you. Hey, perhaps they'll go on that Pride of Britain. Oh, yeah. What's that? You've not heard of Pride of Britain? It's a telly show hosted by Carol Vordman, I think. Yeah. Hey, he'll get to meet the stars. Oh, ho, ho, Bugsy, I come <laughs> with me. you. me. <laughs> You look surprised to see me. You could say that. We thought you was banged up. Yeah, well, they released me. So, what can I get you? And before you ask, we don't do arsenic. Sorry. I'd like a bottle of brandy, please. Enjoy your first day. Well, felt a bit lost at first, but yeah, it was good. Well, just remember to check everything with me first. Don't bother Charity. She's got enough on her plate with the wedding. This is going to be our little production, and Charity is going to love it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> nice hat. Thank you. <clears throat> well, um, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Pillar. <laughs> you look it at all. Anyway, what are you dressed like that for? Because of them. We made him do it. <laughs> How are you? You don't have to talk if you don't want to. You have heard what's happened. Stephen has been arrested, attempted murder. Yes, I know. It's too awful to think about him. I, I just don't know what to do. Just think about getting better, eh? I'm so worried about Shelley. You know, you said you thought you'd seen her. Where was that? Outside the B&B. you certain? Well, I was pretty certain at the time. I mentioned it to Steph. She said I was mistaken. And were you? Well, it was very quick. No, it was her. I'm sure of it. What exactly can she do to you? Murder me. I'm a prime witness, aren't I? But I was there, I heard it all. Look, come on, if I was her, I'd murder me. Right, well, that's what you get for breaking into people's houses. Daz, don't be ridiculous. She's not going to murder you. Not with the police watching her, anyway. Yeah, well, she could hire a contract killer, couldn't you? You know what your trouble is, don't you? What? You watch too much telly. So he decided to train for the Dales Dash. It's running, don't ask. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it is. We look happy. I am. Mm. Glad someone is. Sorry? Nothing. Get us a pint, please, Louise. And whatever my lovely sister in law's having. Mm. Okay. You're on your own? Yeah, I've been wedding planning all day. You must be mad. Either that or up to something. Mm. You always were a cynic. And you never do anything for anybody. Not unless it suits. I'd do anything for Dad. You know that. Yeah, and you and I both know that marrying her is the biggest mistake he's ever going to make. So what are you up to? Take a hike. Hey, I'm 100% behind you. Just don't muck it up, that's all. I'm sure I heard her one night. Stephanie said I was dreaming, but, but I wasn't. Her voice was so clear. She was downstairs. Then, then, then I heard raised voices and 
I thought something might not be right, so I, I tried to go down. Then I must have dozed off. But she was always bullying her. I should have done something to try and stop it, but she, she just couldn't accept that we were together. Have you mentioned any of this to the police? Perhaps she should. She was there that night, Emily. I know it. You've got to tell the police, Mr Turner, if only to put your mind at rest. Mm. Would you like me to phone him? <laughs> so you had a good day? <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. Ow! That hurt. Sorry. Yeah, well, it's not funny, so just be careful. I think she's amazing, actually. Who? Sadie. I just hope I can do the job, that's all. Yeah, of course you can. Oi! You did that on purpose. I didn't. Right, well, that's enough now. Come on, bed. Charlotte doesn't go to bed till 10 o'clock, do you, Charlotte? Sometimes 11. Yeah, well, tough, because you're staying here tonight. <sighs> Look, you two. Why don't you go upstairs and I'll bring you up a hot chocolate? And a chocolate biscuit. And a chocolate biscuit. Come on. I'm never having kids. I'm so glad when my dad gets back. Just chill out, will you? What's up with you? No, I'm just tired. Today was weird. Well, I thought you said you enjoyed it. Well, I did. But it was just creepy talking about weddings all day. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know, would I? Seems I've never been married. Oh, don't be like that. Well, actually, I was talking to Sadie about you today. She asked me if you were good in bed. Please tell me you're joking. Oh, come on, Rob. Girls talk like that. Oh, don't worry, I didn't go into detail. I just said that you were good, that's all. Oh, great. I'll think about that next time I see you. <laughs> anyway, you could have said I was amazing. She's dead cool, Rob. Well, I think she stuck up myself. She virtually ignored me when she dropped you off today. She was in a rush. And anyway, she doesn't suffer fools gladly. <laughs> well, thanks a bunch. <laughs> Rob, you are so touchy. Mm. Surely she's she's not capable of killing a friend. She tried to kill you, Mr. Turner. Here he is. Just tell him everything you told me. <laughs> Thanks for coming so quickly. Sorry? The desk sergeant said you might be a while. Go on, Mr. Turner, tell him. Well, it's about Shelley. Who's Shelley? His girlfriend, well, a companion. They were going to go live together in Spain, only... She, she, she disappeared. And what's this got to do with your daughter? Well, I, I'm not certain, but I, I think she may have killed her. Why didn't you mention this before? I, I don't know. He's not well. Shelley who, Miss? Williams. And how long has she been missing? Couple of months. And you're saying that you think your daughter may have killed her? <laughs> okay, do you mind if I take some details? Maybe we could wait till morning. I'm afraid not, miss. You see, I'm not here because you called the station. I'm here to tell Mr. Turner that his daughter's been released. hear what they were saying, but I'm sure they were arguing. Stephanie was shouting and, and then Shelley and but it was mostly Stephanie. I, it went on for quite a time. Approximately how long? I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes. And this was downstairs in the living area? As far as I could ascertain, yes. And then you say you heard him go down to the cellar? Well, I, I can't be absolutely sure, but I, I heard the door go, and that, that door's got a very distinctive latch. Then what? Then it's just I heard screaming. And then nothing else. And you say this was the 28th of September? And you're willing to corroborate this? Yeah. 
That was the day I saw her. And then, then I thought I saw her again. It was Lisa. Lisa Dingle, she's a friend. Why did you think it was Shelley? Well, because, because she was wearing her scarf. Any idea where she got it? And was this before or after the 28th? The night when you think you heard her? Um, after. I think you really should rest now. Just one more thing, sir. Before I can proceed, I need your consent to conduct a full search of the B&B. &B. Without any evidence, there's nothing we can do. You've got to say yes, Mr Turner. Yes. I'll keep you informed. Thank you. You did the right thing. Yes, I know, but... I just don't find what they're going to find. Mm -hmm.